Random numbers in JavaScript are weird. Hey guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create random numbers with JavaScript. We're going to go through and learn how to make them, how to set ranges, and then we're going to build a little game that guesses the random number. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this JavaScript series, so check that out if you haven't so far. We've got a file I'm calling it random.html. It's our basic starter code we've been using forever. So let's just come down here and create a random number. And to use random numbers in JavaScript, we call the math function, and we want a math.random number. Now, strictly speaking, we can just print this out onto the screen and take a look at it. So let's document dot write this out, see what we have. Go ahead and save this, head back over to our browser. I'm in my C JavaScript directory, and let's run random.html. And when we do, we get this long decimal number, 0.4604, whatever. If we hit reload, we get a new one, 0.68, a new one, 0.98. Again, on and on, it's a long decimal number, and that's not great. That's probably not what you want. Maybe it is what you want, and that's fine. If it is, you're done with this video. But more than likely, you want a whole number between some level. So how do we get a whole number? Well, let's come back over here. And what we can do is use the math.floor function. So we call math.floor and then wrap this entire thing in parentheses. So just to kind of space this out so it's a little easier to see maybe. Eh, that's not really all that much easier, is it? <laughs> anyway, we've got the math.random function inside the math.floor function. Now, if we save this and head back over to the browser and hit reload, we're going to get a bunch of zeros because that's what it returns by default. Now, if we want something besides zero, after our math.random, we need to multiply this by some number. So let's say 10. So now, if we save this and head back to the web browser and hit reload, we get eight, four, six, three. Now, very important to understand, this is going to return a number between zero and 10. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not 10, right? So that's maybe great, maybe not what you want. If you want it, we can keep going here. We're never going to see 10. Oh, we just saw nine there. If you want it between zero and 10, with 10 to be one of the options, then you need to change this to 11. If we save this and head back over here and hit reload, there's one, nine. Eventually here, we're going to get a 10. There's a zero. Uh, there's a 10, right? So to get between one and 10, you put times 11. Same thing for any number. Like say you want between one and 100. Well, then you would be 101. One in a thousand, 1001. So this will be any number between zero all the way up to and including 1000 or 100. If you want it from zero all the way up to 99, then this would be 100. Right. So, okay, that's great, I guess. So let's say uh, random numbers between zero and 10. It's back to. So what if you don't want zero? What if you want between one and some number? Well, let's say uh, between one and 10. Well, let's copy this whole thing again. <laughs> and this is weird. We plus one on this. Now this will return either a one all the way up to and including 10, but then plus one. So this will also return 11. And you may not want 11. So if you want between one and 10, including 10, you need to then turn this back down to a zero because again, we're adding one. So this will return zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one. So zero plus one, that's one. Nine plus one, that's 10. So like I said, random numbers in JavaScript are weird. This uh, JavaScript as an entire language is weird. It just is. Random numbers should be easy and all other programming languages, they are. This is convoluted and stupid. But this is how you do it in JavaScript. Uh, so now here we get two. There's one. And now eventually we'll get a 10 or 10. Right. So <laughs> just sort of if you want between zero and a number, do it like this. If you want between one and a number, do it like this. But remember up here, you have to add one. So to get the 10, you have to have 11 there. But here to get the 10, you don't have to add the 11 because we're adding one there. I don't know. It's JavaScript. It's quirky. So now that's fun. Let's build a little program. Let's say, uh, I don't know, let's create a guess the number game. It's not going to be a very fun game, but you know, <laughs> it's a game nonetheless. So let's create a function and I'm going to call this function game. And inside of here, let's let num, let's create a number equal 
And let's um, do this one. Between, well, no, let's do this one. Go crazy. Between one and 10. Copy this whole thing. And then we don't need to document write this out. So that off and that off. So, okay. This will assign a number between one and 10, including one and including 10. And it will assign it to this variable num. Right. So, okay. Now let's also let answer equals and let's create a prompt. So this little box will pop up and let's say guess the number uh, between one and 10. Then down here, let's run our function. Let's call our game function. And we probably want to document dot write this guy out. So that okay, so now inside of here, let's run some logic. So logic for game. And let's go if our answer, the answer that the user types into the prompt, if that equals the num, which is the random number, well then let's return and let's say you win. And then say the number was, and then let's print out the num. Else, let's say do the same thing. Only well, instead of it saying you win, let's say you lose, loser. Right? And then also tell them the number. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Come back over here and see if this works. Hit reload. I guess the number between one and 10, let's say three. And, oh, document writing this out. Okay, what do we do? The number was one. Oh, we lost. All right, let's try again. Three. Ah, oh, we lose. The number was six. <laughs> this might take a while. The number was two. I'm just going to keep guessing three. It's bound to be three eventually, right? Oh, we still lose. 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 Ooh, one. Come on, three. Lucky number three. Ah, I, I felt good about that one. I really did. Up ah, two. Well, hey, we won. The number was three. And that didn't take too long. What, 10 tries or something? <laughs> so anyway, this is not a fun game, but we just learned about prompts in the last video. So hey, we get to use prompts a little bit. And we've learned about logic a few videos ago. So now we get to use that. And we just learned about random numbers. And now we get to use that. And not too bad. So anyway, those are random numbers in JavaScript. Again, it's kind of goofy, right? It just is. Python random numbers, much easier. Ruby random numbers, much easier. All other programming languages, random numbers are much easier. But in JavaScript, a little convoluted, but still yeah, not too bad. I have to kind of remember these quirky little things. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. That's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. And over 190,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.